It's time for one of India's biggest jewelry buying festival. It's Akshay Tritya and we are looking at, uh, it's believed to be an auspicious day for new investments. Many Indians flock to jewelry stores to buy gold, silver or diamonds during this time. The sellers offer attractive discounts. But this Akshay Tritya, you are dealing with all-time high prices and expectation that the demand is expected to remain subdued. That may be because the prices have risen to an all-time highs and we have seen prices gain about 20% in past year and have hit an all time high in the month of March. So should you be adding gold to your portfolio or not? And what kind of returns can you expect? To discuss this, I am not joined by Mr. Chetu Kumar Mehta. He's Chief Managing Director at Lakshmi Diamonds. Dilip Narayanan is Head of Bullion and Treasury at Malabar Group. Sawankar so Sen is Executive Director at Senko Gold and Diamonds. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. And uh, what a start to the year where we have seen all-time highs come in for the gold prices. And when you turn back and look at last one year, across assets classes gold clearly has been the best performer with 20 percent gains equities currencies bonds securities nothing is close by also to that 20 percent of gains that we have seen in case of gold but with the higher prices comes a bit of a pain in sense of buying perhaps and this Akshay Tritya is not accompanied by wedding season also so a bit of a pain or a pinch is what we've seen jewelers reporting to us so Ankar, the first question is to you what is your sense how is this Akshay Tritya looking like yeah, there are two ways of, uh, you know, uh, the way we are looking at the market. One is that the consumer is very happy that the price of gold is going up. It is this drastic uh, increase in a very short period of time that gives them a little bit of a pain because in their minds, it takes time for them to adjust to the new prices. But deep in their mind, if say they buy a 20 grams of gold or a 10 grams of gold, they already have maybe 100 grams of gold in their a locker or the gold jewelry that they are wearing and the asset price of that gold that they have already bought has gone up. So it's actually giving them a reason to believe in gold more. And that is where we feel that, yes, maybe here with the sudden increase in price, the budget of the consumer doesn't go up. So we are looking at volumes not having that much of a growth. There would be cases in which the volumes in certain stores might go down. Value-wise, we still believe and we are very optimistic that at least we should have uh, single uh, high single digit and a low double digit growth because footfalls are there. Consumers are taking time. They have been saving, you know, through monthly installment schemes. Uh, our team is calling them up and they are saying, yes, yes, we will surely come on the auspicious day. So it is very uh, positive and optimistic. But yes, the budget, the uh, ha money in the hands of the consumer is limited. Uh, that is how we are looking and balancing it out. Well, absolutely. I mean, this is a day when it's more important to have a token sales done or token buying done than anything else. And that perhaps is what we would be looking at this time as well. And a very valid point put that the volume perhaps may decline, but the value-wise sales will continue to be on the higher side because last year the gold prices were trading at 50,000 rupees. They're trading at 62,000 rupees today. So there is a big, big jump that we've seen in the last one year. And as you said, yes, it's a validation for all those jewelry and gold buyers in last Akshay Tritya on what kind of gains you can actually be looking at. Chetan, this one is to you. And while, of course, the gold buying is one part of it, people do buy jewellery. A lot of youngsters, even elite, do buy diamonds. And uh, there's a whole new world which is buying lap-grown diamonds as well. Yeah, the Manisha ji, good evening. Uh, it's a very nice uh, question. But uh, I would tell you, diamonds have been always uh, loved by everyone. And today you can see the growth of diamond jewellery. It has increased 200, 300% every year. And uh, lab grown people like millennials all like lab grown diamonds and diamond jewelry, of course. And uh, this Akshay Tritya lab grow, uh, this uh, natural diamond growth has been uh, massively gone up. And I can see even uh, middle class or uh, upper middle class, low middle class, everyone want to buy a diamond jewelry. I think it's a very great uh, start it has been. And I see the diamond jewelry will be growing year by year on. Dilip, what is your sense? And you've been opening your stores. You have big plans going forward for the year as well. But during Akshay Tritya, what is the trends that you're witnessing? What would you advise buyers to do at this point? Uh, thank you, Manisha, for calling me up for this uh, auspicious day. Uh, and uh, uh, as, as Mr. Shivankar rightly mentioned, you know, the value of gold has gone up year over year. And of course, the, the, the clients who are planning to buy big numbers have have reduced their plans and they, they they might end up buying a smaller quantity but appreciation is definitely uh, uh is there uh, in gold year over year that's that's a positive about it 
And as I, I was mentioning to someone in the early in the morning uh, discussions that uh, we see uh, the trend moving towards uh, I mean, a positive trend for the last four to five days with the numbers which we are seeing in our uh, retail stores also that people are are are, are buying are getting more uh, into the buying uh, pattern and uh, mm -hmm. even even in the even in, even in the market the the discounts have reduced I mean I'm talking about the bullion purchase to buy the raw the raw gold purchase to buy jewelry all the, all the, those discounts are also shrinking a little bit. But I find mm -hmm. I, I feel that there is a positive uh, movement towards the day when actually is going to be there. All right, a lot of positive vibes coming in. People have started thronging and calling and finding out on what kind of jewellery and what kind of prices there perhaps are available. Chetan, this one is to you. So as you said, there's a big trend and almost everything is getting bought into right now. Uh, as a jeweller, as an industry, what is it that you are ensuring, uh, pitching yourself, pushing yourself out there? Is it about new designs? Is it about uh, newer launches? Is it about schemes, offers? What are you offering? Like... Um... We always see that it is like, you know, a dweller is planning like when we uh, make a wedding for our daughter, we make sure we prepare for a year and, and all dweller prepare for Akshay Tritya like a daughter wedding. And they always try to make a new designs, new concept. And we make a bridal collection. This is a very special auspicious day. So we try to make a bridal collection in a new type design where, you know, we can like there is a lot of uh, with the mix and match of gold, diamonds, polki, ankur and Nakashi, we make all mixed together jewelry and we make new designs. And the concept that today, I think all people like the concept where before there was like tradition design moving. Now today the tradition is into trend. So now tradition, now, now people all traditional jewelry they want to wear as a trend now. It's a trendsetter now. Mm -hmm. So in that mm -hmm. way, we are mixing match with the trend and the contemporary designs and we are making together, you know, the lovely mixture and people are liking to wear and, you know, make this jewelry to happen in a bigger way. Oh, absolutely. And even as the wedding season begins in June and July, I'm assuming that since the prices are expected to go higher from here and it's an auspicious day, people might just want to step out and buy it during this time itself. So that's a big positive, of course, coming in there. So, Ankar, uh, what would you advise a buyer uh, right now, uh, you know, with the prices going higher, with the, the whole idea that uh, as the government was pushing towards financialization of gold and then came off the uh, tax benefits, indexation benefits, etc. And a lot of people are now talking about getting back into physical gold. Do you think this is this is the right time choice to go for? I, uh, you know, I have uh, started working from year 2007, 2008. That was the beginning of the financial crisis. I have seen that when I had joined uh, work, uh, gold prices were at, um, uh, I would say, 5,000 rupees, a uh, you know, uh, only today it is at 60,000 rupees. So we're at from 5,000 to 7,000 to 10,000 to 15 to 22 to 30, you can imagine that the prices, you know, has, has gone up so much, right? So my advice to the buyers would be the new generation buyers are here. The seniors have already seen the price rise over so many generations so the point is that keep buying buy now the gold might come down a little bit five ten percent here and there if you have the money then buy again because over a long period of time gold will always act as your friend so this will be my advice it's an auspicious day there is so much indian culture and tradition associated with it you know if you have money to buy for fifty thousand worth buy that if you have five lakhs buy that but you must keep buying mm. because that is the the way you can do your planned savings and it'll be a great asset creation as well. And as far as diamonds is concerned, uh, you know, uh, uh, what Chetanji said, that, uh, you, you know, because of the price rise, the young generation is now seeing that 14 carat, 18 carat gold with which the diamond juries are made is becoming more affordable. The middle mm. class Indians with so much aspiration and so much expectation of getting out of life, uh, they can also see that I can buy a diamond jewelry for the everyday wear. And that is how we are seeing our growth in diamond jewelry as well. So it's just the product is great. People should just keep buying. Oh, well, yes, you would say that people should buy and people who have bought gold clearly had nothing to lament about. I mean, the prices have gone up and how and not just gold, but for diamond and all kind of other precious stones as well. Dilip, uh, have you seen any um, competition come in from ETFs and uh, coins and bars and uh, sovereign gold bonds and digital gold, etc.? 
manisha I, I, yes there is there is uh, uh, there is requirement there is demand for etf there is demand for uh, for the coins and bars uh, that especially when it comes to locations like akshay tritiya there are investment bars which goes very well in the sh jewelry shops but as compared to what uh, you know a jewelry sale is uh, i don't think so it could ever match up with etf or any other investment uh, per se even that for that matter even the digital gold which is which we have been seeing for the last 4 to 5 years but when you see the, uh, when you compare that with the physical jewelry sale uh, i mean you, it has always been the, the physical jewelry gold sale has always been up and especially right. in akshay uh in uh, in akshay tritya there are uh, the, there are certain uh, certain uh, stores which do uh, out uh, outperform well in in terms of coins and bars but overall if you see there there is definitely a demand for the gold jewelry all right so well yes physical buying uh, uh, i mean that's a trend in india and that, that hasn't changed even as we've seen so many newer instruments come into the market there but this is a question i want to ask to each one of you and subankar i'll start with you first uh, when you see uh, when you see walk in customers when you see this token buying when you see jewelry buying on an occasion like an akshay tritiya what sells the most so so there are two things that we are seeing right now one is that in the month of may june july there are weddings that are uh, going to happen in, in a few parts of the country so in those parts of the country for the summer weddings we can all we can see that the consumers are in a little bit of a worry that what if the gold prices goes up further there are so much global uncertainties and the wedding packages are happening i would say that that is about 20 to 30% of your consumers the remaining 60 70% of the consumers that are buying their their budget is between the range of 50000 to 1 and 1/2 lakhs so it could be bangles it could be earrings Uh, it could be uh, you know nice uh, sleek uh, chain with pendants or necklaces for the everyday wear so that is the token buying that is happening like the way in dhanteras or akshatitya an auspicious product for the use but the daily wear usage is becoming more important uh, people want to buy things which they can wear and that is coming mm -hmm. in trend be it in gold or diamonds and black as well so this is what we are so almost at. every almost everything is getting bought but if there was one thing the what is getting sold the most is it a ring is it studs is it um, uh, what is it that people are buying well uh, 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 it depends uh, nisha i mean it depends upon the people's budget right i mean so uh, mm -hmm. so in, in in place like kerala because uh, malabar has got more uh, as major presence in kerala to Uh, there you would find as as uh, shankar shankar was rightly mentioning there is also the wedding season which is on so where they buy the yeah. entire set wedding set and, uh, and 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 when you move towards the western side and uh, events like akshay tritiya you find more of rings and bangles and uh, or or a pendant being been bought it all depends upon the budget mm. but yes for the, the wedding crowd is different as compared to what uh, the the small jewelry purchase has been done Absolutely. Let's not forget the geography here, because South, of course, will continue to be always a big buyer, and then, of course, comes West India, North India too. But everybody have their very uh, different preferences when it comes to gold buying. With that, we'll go for a short break. But before that, here's what Akshay Tritya means for entrepreneur Upasna Kamineni. We'll be back in a moment. There are few uh, occasions that we definitely buy jewelry. One is Akshay Tritya, the other one is Dhanteras, and Varlakshmi Vratham. I always expect something from my husband. <laughs> 